Thank you for joining me for yet another unboxing video. And today we have from Bethesda Games and Archon Studios and Machine Games, Wolfenstein, the board game. I was lucky enough to pick up the Kickstarter edition of this game with all the components. I was very, very happy to find it um, in the aftermarket on Facebook Marketplace. And it cost a good amount of money, but at the same time, I'm very happy that I was able to pick this up because I love the video game Wolfenstein. I loved it when I had it on the Apple IIe computer many, many moons ago. So I said, you know what? Anything with the Wolfenstein uh, title on it, I got to pick it up. So I'm very happy I picked it up. There's going to be a couple of co companion videos that are going to go with this one because obviously um, there's a multitude of boxes. There's a 3D terrain kit that I'm going to show you. There's an all-star box I'm going to show you. And then there's also the expansion, the Old Blood. Uh, there's also two different versions of the game. One version came with the models pre-made, which is the one that I wanted, which is the one that I picked up, which is another reason why it cost a little bit more money. And then there's one where you, if you're a model builder, you can build the models yourself. So it's a choice that you make. Again, I wanted the pre-made models. So this edition uh, that I picked up had the pre-made models in it. So to me, it was well worth the purchase price. So I'm going to flip this bad boy around. Oh, it looks great. Again, we have it in various different languages. We've got some pictures here. This is a big box, and it's a mighty heavy box. There's a lot of stuff inside here. So let's see here. We got Wolfenstein, Wolfenstein, the ball, uh, the board game, not the ball game, but the board game. B.J. Blackowitz, along with his companions, are challenging the Third Reich. Will they be able to change the world's fate by eliminating the Nazi notables and Hitler himself? Wolfenstein is a cooperative game for one to four players based on the fan favorite FPS series. Use action points for sneaking through the castle and glory points for heroic feats. Collect enough ammo for maximum utilization of your weapons and show the Nazis who's the boss. So, again, that background information in a bunch of different languages. And then we have pictures of the models that are included and there's a heck of a lot of models. The blue are your main uh, characters. The red are the baddies. I'm going to show you the pictures here. And the reason I'm going to slow it down just a little bit, because when I do show you the figures, because they're red, they do come up a little, uh, they're a little hard to see when it comes to, um, you know, picking up and showing you the actual figures. The blue ones are fine. The red's going to be a little bit tricky to see all the detail. But as you can tell when you're looking at this, there are is a tremendous, tremendous amount of detail on all these figures. And again, those are your good guys. Not too keen on the guy kicking, but, you know, he's obviously kicking a door in. Okay. So there we go. Again, it's for one to four players. More information, go right over there to archon-studios.com. That's not studios. It's archon-studio.com. So, okay, it's a huge box. So let's crack this bad boy open and see what kind of goodness we have on the inside. And there's a lot, a lot of stuff inside this box here. So we're gonna start right off, two booklets. Then we have our components. This is really cool, I can start with this actually. Um, you know how you take the figures out of the game, you start playing the game. Well, guess what? It tells you exactly how to put them back in, uh, in order in the box which is really really helpful more people uh more people should really really do this and there's your player boards and more figures that they have but that's a really really cool thing every game which has figures should have one of these includes in it but everybody does not got boxes got figures got all kinds of stuff in there so we're gonna kind of push that to the side and move along over here So the first thing we're going to take out of here is this thing here, Archon Studio. So this is um, Dear Backer. Again, this is your the letter that you would get as a backer for the Kickstarter. Okay. Just a nice little letter there, QR code. All right. They're saying thank you for purchasing it. Well, even though it was in the aftermarket, you're welcome. All right. So you got that sheet. You got this sheet. Well. I can start the mission, but you got a mission book and you have a rule book. Let's start with the rule book real quick. So rule book. 
Again, artwork is very true to the video game series that they put out. So we got the table of contents. We got the goal of the game. Obviously, kill baddies. Number of players. List of components. There is a ton of stuff in the in this box. Ton of stuff. Okay, barricades and doors. Okay, list of components. Again, whole heck of a lot of components. Your boards, your map tiles, your corridor tiles, all that stuff. Okay. You got your hero card. Expl explanation of how, what, it, what all those things on your card look like. You got enemy cards. You got weapon cards. Like any board game these days, you got a bazillion cards in a game. You got equipment cards and chest cards. You've got item types. So you got armor, attachable, boosters, consumables, suits, and others. You got event cards. What would a game be without cards? Lots of them. Game setup, select the game difficulty level. Choose your mission, check the trackers, get ready to action. Start the game, choose your hero, place the cards. Action, attention. While this may be a cooperative game, sometimes a decision like who will be the starting player needs intervention. When necessary, the con contesting players each roll two dice. The player with the most shields and hearts is the winner. Okay, there you go. Round sequence, phases. Round tracker, Nazi phase, player phase. Oh, looks like there's a round tracker, player phase, Nazi phase, and cleanup phase. Here are your heroes. Uh, apply effects to fatigue from the previous turn. Generate action points. Spend ac AP to take actions in any other order you choose. Remove a fatigue token if it was on the hero card at the start of the hero's activation. Generate noise in a room slash corridor with another model. Okay. Action points, dice successes and failures. So very, uh, the dice are obviously for this game only. Fatigue, re-rolling, achung, achung. It is not possible to re-roll a re-roll. The second result stands even if it's worse than the initial roll. Thank you. And there's a cut, cut picture of the game specific dice, which we'll take a look at once we get to the box. Uh, movement and objects, move action, barricades, other tokens, models, obstacles, walls, difficult terrain, token and model obstacles, doors, search action, event, and chest tokens. Uh-oh, atong, atong. You cannot perform a search action next to an event token if there are enemy models in that room. So you can't start searching if there's a guy hanging out in there. Attack action. Atong, atong. A weapon with a reload token must be reloaded to remove the token. Afterwards, it cannot be used this activation without gaining fatigue. Reloading is a lot of work. Atong! A hero's total number of attack dice equals accuracy value plus weapon attack value plus activated weapon ability. All right, that's a lot. Atong, atong! All game effects that inflict damage without rolling the dice will damage armor first. Refer to armor and HP on page 18. Up here it says line of sight and range. If at least one of these lines runs along the edge of a wall, the line of sight is blocked. Ammunition and weapon abilities. Light ammo, heavy ammo, special ammo, and any ammo. Don't like Did I see the picture right there? I don't like the guy kicking. Sorry. Not into it. Glory points, silent execution and silencer, noise, stun and sabotage, other gear, equipped item cards, exchanging equipment, weapons, and ammunition. Uh-oh, atong, atong. When you give cards and tokens to another player, you are only giving them, not exchanging. You cannot gain anything from this action. Cards with the, I guess, shirt symbol or the pill symbol cannot be removed after attaching them to a hero card. Okay. Sound the alarm, hazard tracker and alarm, spawning Nazi models. After all officers on the board are killed, reset the hazard tracker to zero. If the alarm was raised during the Nazi activation phase, immediately deploy the models and activate them during that action phase according to their initiative. Fire 
Firefight and Hero Phase. Lots of pictures, lots of examples. Firefight Hero Phase. Soledad. Again, more examples. So there's seven parts to the Firefight Hero Phase. Okay. So it looks like there's different things to look at. Okay. The Nazi Phase. Sometimes it may happen that Nazi models cannot perform any actions. In this case, the AI-controlled player must skip the Nazi activation phase and proceed to the cleanup phase. AI controller. Nazi act activation. Initiative. Regular actions. Each Nazi model can only attack once per Nazi activation phase. When a Nazi attacks, any dice result will, with a reload is treated as a blank. If there are no noise tokens in any of the Nazis' adjacent rooms, corridors, the Nazi models does not activate. They do not move. Officer and boss models are not attracted to, by noise tokens. They are too clever for you. Allied scum. Officers and bosses only move if a hero is in their line of sight or they have been attacked. Nazi phase. Lots of, I like the fact they have lots of examples in this book. Very, very cool. Death and dying. Armor and hit points. Shared life. Bleeding, no hit points, and death. A hero cannot use their shared life token to stop themselves from bleeding out. It can only be used on other heroes. End of the game. Game over. You win or you lose. Finer details. Priority and discarding. Priority of, speci of special abilities. Nazi skills, hero skills, equipment, and weapon. Discarding cards. Special models. Oversized and bots. Oversized. And then you have bots. If the Bat roll, uh, if the bot rolls a reload while attacking, treat it as a blank. Bots may not perform search actions at event tokens. Single player mode. And then you got advanced rules. Game difficulty. What mode? Can I play daddy? Don't hurt me. Bring them on and I am death incarnate. Okay. So you've got four different modes you can play this in. Easy to... You must be crazy to play this one. All right, and then they give you a page for notes and credits for all the great people who play tested and all the great people who uh, brought you this game. And then, of course, in the back, you have an action list and index. So the actions you can move, move difficult terrain, secret passage, open a door, move a barricade, search, attacking, uh, special attacking mode, use equipment, reload, give equipment, equip or swap equipment, fatigue, healing a bleeder noise all game effects that inflict damage without rolling the dice will damage armor first refer to armor and your hit points on page 18 and then an index for you to help you find key terms all right there's your rule book Whoop. okay and again we have a mission book look at the artwork on that again captures the theme fantastical Contents, reading this book, alarm, models, building the map, enemy list. Okay, first first mission, first blood, goals, alarm, legend, enemies. Officer room and tells you how to set it up. Very nice, full color. Beautiful. Second mission is split up. Not always a good idea, but there you have it. Get there before the radar does. Okay, that's a speed one. Power suit parts. Goals, alarms. Time to suit up. Goals, alarms. War in the family. Again, goals, alarm. Legends, enemy. Ve Victus. Glory Victus. Goals, alarms. Marked rooms, enemies, legends. The traitor of Da'at Yichud. Long way to General Von Grimm. C 
Sieg Heil. Oh, it's Sieg Hell, not Sieg Heil. Sieg Hell. Uh oh. Got to take him down. And then Sieg Hell again. More information about it. Again, the artwork clearly very cool. More notes, and of course, the great people who brought you the game. So, so your mission book is a total basically of 13 pages. All right, so you got a rule book, mission book, and a rule book. Okay, there we go. Now you got also got a little red box in here, the board game. Came out in 2021. And there are your dice. So let's take a look at these dice. The game specific, so obviously you can't use them for anything else. But this game it appears that all the dice are the same. So I'll just show you one. Shield, shield. Look like a heart. Looks like a bullet. Maybe directional the bullet, maybe. Got some blanks in here too. So I think this is a 12-sided die. It's by shape that I'm gonna say they're D12s. And you get a bunch of them in here. So let's see, uh, let's see. Again, this again, this is the um, Kickstarter edition. So you might get there might be more in here than one that you would get than what you would get if you bought this in a shop. So I'm not sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Again, there's twelve. Uh, D12 in there. Okay, there you go. Put that back in that cool little box. All right, let's put that box there. And then you got another box with cards in them. Take a card, any card. So let's take a look at some of these cards, see what's going on here. Lots and lots and lots of cards. So let's take a look. But may not be as many as some of the other games. So these cards are clearly marked. It says equip card. Oh my. Okay, then we have chest cards. Alright, so let's take a look at these. And they're all mini cards, but they're cool. Let's take a look at them. Armor Elements, Bayonet, Bulletproof Vest, Castle Plan. Oh, that's cool. This card could be attached to a hero card at any point before the alarm is raised. When the alarm is raised, the player who uses this card can freely move the Nazi spawn tokens. Okay. Chainsaw. Commander's Diary. Commander's Uniform. Dog food. Enigma codes. Fruits. German soldier's uniform. Gold bust. Gold chalice. Gold face mask. Gold helmet. Gold nugget. Gold sword. Hand grenade. Hand grenade. Hatchets. Health pack. Helmet. Knife, liquor, a magazine, meal, packed lunch, pass, pipe. Oh, let's see the pass says here. Place this card on your hero card. A hero with a, this pass can open a door without losing an AP. Oh, okay, cool. Pipe. Schwiffel Zoda, 100%. Like, not sure what that is. Silencer, very important. Keep that noise down. Sound grenade. Star card. Use this card only when adjacent to another hero. The hero using this card gains 2 GP. This card is card after use. Steroids. Super Soledad Serum, Tesla Grenade, TNT, Vinyl Record, and those are all of your equipment cards.
Then we have some chest cards. Again, backs are all the same. Bookcase, desk, locker, metal chest, metal shelf, safe. Draw two cards from the weapon deck. Keep one of them and shuffle the other back into the deck. And they got wood chest. Okay. So you got a chest card. All right, so put those in there. And then we have another big set of cards. Always open the packs off off screen this way. Cut my hand off, no one has to see that. All right, so we've got, all right, so we've got a bunch of different cards. We've got our weapon card. We've got our event card. And we got a whole heck of a lot of enemy cards. Oof. All right, so let's take a look at these one at a time. Let's go with the weapon card. So we've got here an AR Marksman, assault rifle 1960, automatic shotgun, hammer gear, handgun, camp, camp pistol, laser craft work, Machinen pistol, MG60, shock hammer X, looks like a shotgun, SMG, Sturm wear, and those are your weapons. Got your vent cards. I don't want to, I'm not going to read too much on here, but it, of course it says event. So I'm going to use this one first as event. Chase, you've come across a group of prisoners who have escaped from General Von Grimm. They beg you to help them escape and promise a reward for you, your aid. Watch out for a team of Nazis hunting down the escaped prisoners. We will help you. You decide to help the prisoners. Keep this card and discard it when you reach the nearest hero spawn talk, a token. Then gain the reward. Spawn one soldier, one space marine, and one officer. This is the team of Nazis hunting down the escaped prisoners. You would die anyway to kill the prisoners. Gain the reward and discard this card. So a bunch of different events. You got chased, you got envy, fake news, interactive Panzerhund, kill the guard, Klaus, former champion, mysterious capsules, piggy, pleasant dreams, Pretend to be a soldat, prisoner exchange, remove the barricade, report on Chrysu Circle, save prisoner, Shoshana shenanigans, steadfast engineer, tactical gamble, Max for toys, or I should say toys for Mac, not Max for toys, reverse that, sorry about that, unlucky one, and the last one, wounded prisoner, so those are your event cards. Then we have enemy cards. You've got drones. Fire troopers. Officers. Again, all the icons on here will be explained to you. Commander, first aid kit, intimidating presence. So all that stuff will be explained to you. Officer. Panzerhund, Rocket Troopers, Soldat, lots of those, Super Soldat, Space Marine, Uber Soldat, Professor Solomon Beverly, General Oscar von Grimm, Mecca Hitler, and Adolf Hitler. So those are all of your enemies. 
and they all go right back here into that handy dandy. So put them up here like this. So all your cards go in a handy dandy little box over here. equipment cards and you got your chest cards okay so all your cards go right over there in that box there as well so you got your dice over here you got that you got your mission rule book and all the other goodness over there okay on to our next our sealed our, i'll say our sealed stuff Bunch of sealed stuff over here. So let's get let's get this stuff off here. Get the shrink wrap off. So of course we got tokens right off the bat, and we got lots and lots of goodness here. All right. A little tight coming off. Don't want to knock anything over. All right. And as they say, it's off. So let's take a look here. We'll put the smallest one to the side. We'll start at the top, as they say. So we've got tokens. Front and back appear to be the same. Here are your hero cards, obviously. So here we go. You got Anya Ola, BJ Blaskowitz. Bombait, Klaus Krutz, you have Max Hass, so let's see what we got here, skills, ammo belt, Max loves toys, Max Hass, Max hate, bare hands, action costs, all kinds of stuff on there, and then you have Set Roth, all right, so you got one, two, three, four, five, six characters to choose from. One to six players, six characters to choose from. All right, there you go. That's one set of tokens. We have another one here. In the front and back are the same. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe they're not. Hold on. Yep, the front and back are the same for all of them. And then we have some... Oh, yeah, so the tokens are high quality. Nice thick cardboard. Punch in easily, and they punch back in, which is a good thing as well. Okay, down here. You have different room tiles that pop out very easily. And... Pop in just as well. I love the detail on these tiles. Very, very brilliant. Really look cool. I gotta tell you, they look very, very cool. Very colorful. And the figures to me appear to be 20 millimeters, so. That's a circle base, so uh, i give you an example. If you play uh, Warhammer, 50, uh, Warhammer 40K, that size base should fit right on the, the squares there. Okay. But there you go. All right, so that's one set of room tiles and tokens. And we have even hallways. So these are the hallways. Hallways are pretty tight, so you can only fit two. It looks like you can only fit one or two people. So that explains the line of sight that they were saying. So if you're here, the person's over there, down here, you may not be in line of sight. So you got to check the rules on that one. Again, more hallways up top there. I like the fact, like a place like this, you can come over here and you could hide. So if you're over here. You have to lean out this way to have line of sight. You can't shoot from here across to there. It wouldn't work. So that's cool. I do like that. 
do like that. And then you have some more rooms at the bottom. So the room tiles also are not humongous, which is different. So if you're playing something like a zombie side, the tiles are huge. These, not so much. So that's all of your tiles. All right. So here we go. More tokens. Voice tokens. Again, all the tokens are, and what they mean. Oh, monkey. Round tracker. Hazard tracker. Flip this over real quick. Yep, so they're all the same in the back. Oh, wait a minute. Yep, they're all the same in the back. Except for those, obviously. There you go. So there's all your tokens. Okay, now comes the big parts. I think we're gonna have, I think we're gonna have to piecemeal because this is kind of I don't want to use the word flimsy, but there it's not exactly the strongest of plastic for the boxes that they come in. So Take a little bit, little bit, look at one thing at a time. Grab with both hands versus one hand. And hopefully, we'll, oh, one big, that's why. Okay. So it's one big packet. As a, it has also a top tray to it. And we're going to go through these things that, that we get in here. Again, there's two versions of this game. There's one where you have to put the models together. And I was like, nope, I want the models pre made. So again, I paid a little bit more for this. To have that option done. All right, so we're gonna take a look at each level as it, as we pop it open. So we've got a combination of doors here. There you go. Again, this is a Kickstarter version, so I'm not sure if this would be included if you had just. Bought one off the shelf at the store. Okay. So this goes in here like this or something. Let's see what it does. There you go. Maybe not. Three instructions of how to put these things together. So I don't want to put anything together. That's one piece. That's one piece there. And you get a bunch of these, so you get some wire mesh doors, get some wooden doors, Obviously these are the bases for the doors, really nice and smoothly, this out, got to do some cleaning on them, obviously up here little places up here I'm not sure but there you go these were all cut off the sprue so More so that's what you get in here. and these are the pins you see that real quick this here and this down here those are the pins for your dials over here so they're in this bag as well don't need to take everything out of there but you get the channel too what looks like Okay. Those are some of the doors and frames. More doors and frames. You get a bunch of those. Again, this is a Kickstarter version, so those may not be actually included in the base set. Not sure what these are. Oh, well, it looks like a shield. It looks like what's on the dice. So you got a shield there, and you got, oh, maybe they're spotlights. I'm not sure. You got a heart there. So I'm not quite sure. Ah, I see what they are. Okay, so.
you've got some game boards here. All right, so I see exactly what they're used for now. You put your cards up here, which uh, that's cool that they can stick up there. That's that's kind of cool. Put your cards that you're using here, put your cards you're using there. Okay, so these, these pegs obviously go in either here, the heart, so it can track your wounds in your in your defense there, which is right there. Your So your shield and your heart. So there it is right there. That's pretty cool though. That's a pretty cool, pretty cool. So if you get what, let me see, card, card right in there. Beep. Flip it over this way. Tell us exactly what you got. You can shake it pretty well. That's all right. That's cool. If you got a weapon in your hand, so let's see if it holds it. Nope. Oh, it goes this way. There you go. Maybe it goes that way, maybe. Not sure. If that's in one hand, there you go. So there you go. Okay, so you have the pegs for the parts here, in this bag here, right on top. Then you have your boards themselves, your player boards for those. Now come the figures. drones, different kinds of drones. So let's take a look at those. Let's take them out and take a look at them. So again they need to be clipped up a little bit. Stuff on them. Just one figure. So some of the arms go to the left, some of them go to the right, but it's the same basic model. So the gun on this one's on this side, and the other one, the gun's on that side. So you see that they're the same, but just inverted. All right. Get two guys that look like that. this so you got two of them that looks like that different poses so it looks like three different poses for these characters that's cool Got some drones. Drone looks like that. Like the bricks on the on the base as well. Very cool. So you get that drone. You get two that look like that, and I think this one's a little different. Two different, I think they're two different kinds of drones. Let me see, are they? Nope, they're the same. At least I would think so. Yep. So you get four of those. And there they are, the four of those. One, two, four. All right. Sorry, that, that's confusing. I put it backwards. Try to keep them all the same way. This way, they all look the same. So you see that. Okay, so you got the four of the drones like that type, and you got six of the soldiers. Two again, the arms are a di little different. These two are the same, and these two are the same. And so that's just some of the figures. Now we're going to continue move on. We got some big suckers here. This is the Hitler drone. Or the, I should say the Hitler mech. 
extremely high detail, as you can tell. Looks a little bit like a uh, 40K Dreadnought. But most Space Age things do at this point. All right. That's a really cool piece. Really digging that one. And you got these three dog things. There's one of them. Number two, the extended tail. So you get three of these. So you get these two are the same. So you get one with not extended tail and two with extended tail. All right. You got the Hitler Dreadnought. See that? This guy goes in here like that. Make sure you're safe. Okay, so now we can start moving on to, so those are the three I just showed you. And there you go. Now we're going to start moving over to our heroes, which are the blue ones. These figures are kind of thin. They're not heroic size, so they're meaning they're not beefier, not meatier. So if you think about 40K, 40K figures, they're kind of the standard. They're, they're, their characters are a little beefier. So, so they're, not, they're not heroic scale. They're true 28 millimeter. Okay, that's one person. Again, I don't remember all their names. That's your professor. Again, love the bases. Really cool detail on the bases. Figures are very cool, very well detailed. He's got his monkey on his back. Don't we all? Okay. Got our third hero. That's our toy guy because he's got a toy in his hand. We all love our toys. All right. He's also got, again, really, really cool. His name right there, the character. It's very cool. All right. We got this guy who's got an axe in one hand, big blaster in the other. Sewer grate on the bottom. That's really cool. That's a that's a very cool fig figure right there. He's looking to whip some ass, so that's cool right there. All right. Then comes the figure I'm not a big fan of, but I, listen, I, I can get it, but. Gotta, gotta take a little bit of that off. Yeah, I gotta scrape that a little bit off, but. Again. I see he's kicking a door, but at the same time, I hate to say it this way. He looks very jugheadish of, to me, of uh, Archie fame, if you know what I mean. Almost like he's got clown shoes on. It's it's just a it's an awkward figure for me. I, I wouldn't have chosen that pose. But again, I'm not a creator. I'm just someone who's doing an unboxing. You know, I give them all the credit in the world for putting out such a great looking game. But again, if it was up to me, nah, I don't think I would have chosen that. That uh, with every other character looking so cool, you know, not really enjoying that one too much. And there you go. This is your last hero that you have. Again, don't remember their names off the top of my head. Again, they are a little skinnier on the skinnier sides, but they're definitely 28 millimeter. Okay, and that's cool. So you got your six heroes. I'll show you them again real quick. Okay. All right, so let's get into the baddies. You have two guys that look like this. Some kind of Nazi bot. Okay. So you get two of those. 
and one alternate sculpt. Same, same characters, just different sculpt. So you get three of those guys in total. You get one of him. He's got the number eight there. Not sure what that means, but maybe in the game we'll, they'll tell us what that's all about. Big pistol behind him. Very cool. Second guy. Hey, you look at who, who are you pointing at? Get them. Very cool. That's a cool pose. So again, you're looking at all these figures, and you're like, wow, these are all cool poses. Yes, they are. Except the guy kicking. I I, I, I don't know why they chose that one. I hate to say that's the most dorky pose that you can get. It's got a gun bigger than he is. All right. He's number seven, I'll say. One guy was number eight. Uh, this, oh, this guy's number four. I guess that tells you who they are. All right, number four. This guy's number seven. Who is number one? I'm not the number. I'm a free man. This is number... Five. Who are you? I am number five. So we don't need to know who he is. We just need to know your number. All right. Number five. Who this guy is. Now he doesn't have a number. Bunch of, that looks like a bunch of arms on the bottom there. Stuff. Does not look like a nice guy. Definitely does not look like a nice guy. All right. Got the weird scientist. Again, another cool, cool, cool miniature. He would paint up very, very nicely, but there he is. That's awesome. Okay. Um, okay, so we got, again, same figure, just the guns going the opposite direction. So it appears that you have three like this and you have three like that. Make it, you have two like this. Sorry about that. You have two like this and two like that. So two of him and two of him. Oop, almost dropped them. Two guys like this. You got two guys like that. So I think you, oh, it's number 23, or number 22. Oh, that's kind of cool that you got the numbers on it. Not sure of the significance of it, but that's cool that each of these figures is numbered. That's cool. I do like that though. All right. And so you got two of him and you got two of the other guy. Okay. Looked at him already. We got this guy here. Number 30. Very cool figure. All right. Same kind of figure, but just a little different sculpt. It's almost like the Terminators. It's number 32. Some kind of robot. 
exoskeleton. All right, so we got here, and then we got another one. So you got three different sculpts for that. That's cool. All right. Got a fourth one that looks like this. Uh oh. Uh oh, he's missing an arm. That's not cool. Hmm. Have to contact the company. Hey, I'm missing an arm. I gotta send me an arm. All right, so we get two guys that look like this. They look like they have flamethrowers. With the big pack in the back. Number 44. All right, he's cool. I got two of those. So you got another one of these guys. So that makes three of these guys. Two with their gun on this side. One on gun on that side. Got this guy here. Number 43. Oh, you got another. One of these guys. He's number nine. You got another one of these guys. All right, so you got uh, you got one, two, or so you got four of these guys. Two with their arm, their guns going this way, and two going the other way. So here's the other guy. They didn't have them together. So again, you got two more of these guys here too. So you got a total of four of them. Two of this type, two of that type. All right, and oh, we got another mech guy. This guy's cool. So you got two of the same sculpt of this guy. And going down to the last couple guys, you got, oh, and we got some more. I'm not going to take them out, but there they are, of the drones. You got, so you have a total of eight drones. There they are right there. You got eight of those. That's cool. Hey, my one guy's missing an arm. I'm not happy about that. So you got here, you got number six. What are you talking about? Give me the Z information. So he's very cool. And last but not least, Guy Hitler. Brandishing two weapons. So I'm going to say this is a robot Hitler. Because it looks like the guns are either his arm, his hands are inside the guns or his arms are the guns. There you have it. So there you have it. That's all the figures that are included in the game. So let me just go again real quick for you. So you got eight of these guys. You got four on this side. You got a total of six of these guys. Three of them are right there. This goes inside there. I'm going to put this back so you can see how it all packs away and this goes back in here so when you load in your box it would go it would look like that doors your pegs your player boards and your figures that's the top part so as you can tell a little flimsy but you gotta get in the box and then you have your big dogs that we went over big hitler mech a dreadnought you have your key guys up top there your main players hitler some more of those guys the rest of them here and there you go some more of them hey he's missing an arm
And the one thing I didn't show you, but I'll get it. The most important thing in the box, we got the silica gel. One packet, bottom of the box. So again, that's everything. That box is good. So you pack it back up real quick. This goes right in here like so, as you see it right there. And this big box goes right on top of it like that. As you can see, all fits in there beautifully. Now, how's it going to look when all the doors get made? Uh, you know, your bet is as good as mine. Your guess is as good as mine. The cards go right in this section over here. Right there. And, of course, you get a lid to protect all your minis from moving around. And that's a good idea. I do I do like the lid on top. I do. So they don't come flying out. You know, they're pretty, they're pretty well into their... Uh, in the case here they're pretty well they're secured very well in there but there you have it that's what it would look like and so that is everything that's included in the kickstarter version of of wolfenstein the board game by machine games bethesda and archon studio once again, thank you so much for joining me for this unboxing video. I know it was a long one, but I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, you can always give us a like. You can always leave a comment below. We love to read what and the suggestions and ideas that you guys have in your comments about our videos. And of course, if you like, you can subscribe to our page. This way you're kept up to date and are immediately get the warning to let you know when we're releasing a new video. Uh, once again, as always, thank you so much for joining us. Be safe, be well, enjoy the remainder of your day, and we'll catch you on the next unboxing video.